joining us is the CEO of Kira Motors Corporation, Mr. Paul Isaac Musasizi. How are you doing today? I'm speechless. I can see you're very much smiling. <laughs> yes, I am. How do you feel about the expo so far? Um, the moment we have just had with the Director General and the President and the incoming President is the real moment. And uh, it went so successfully. It was executed meticulously. I think my expo is done. <laughs> <laughs> That's very true. But no, we're still here to learn. So the fact that he mentioned that mm. you are racing in the right direction, yes. does that mean that we see Kira Motors Corporation moving maybe a year closer, a year closer to producing more cars, more solar buses on the market already? Uh, the, 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 the very kind words from the executive director are really energizing and the validation of what we've been sharing with the rest of the world that Uganda is prime and ready for automotive manufacturing and engineering and that uh, it's just a matter of time. There is a process of putting a couple of things together, you know, the brick and mortar requires a bit of time and the issues of engaging government and stakeholders for policy will also require a bit of time, but definitely we are in the right direction, if I could re-echo the words of the executive director, and we are committed and now more than ever before. <music> We are enjoying our rides uh, in the Kayola Solar Bus with me, the gentleman, my neighbor. How is that? Uh, very fine. How is the experience? I think it's a wonderful thing because it's my first experience to ride on a solar powered engine. That has never been happening around Africa. This is a very innovative thing and I like it. Were you scared before you got on the bus? Did you think anything would go wrong? <laughs> You know, you have to be skeptical a bit because you can't be 100% that this thing can happen. But for you to come in and realize what is happening, I think it's a good innovation and I like it. I've just had my first experience with the Kayola solar bus. I mean, this is amazing. I think solar is the way to go because I think it's cheap and it's free. Uh, so yeah, it's been a really, really good, good ride. I enjoyed it. Initially, when I heard about it, it was like uh, something small, you know, a prototype. We are used to prototype, you know, before people make up something big. I didn't know really that it's a really thing, you know. Yeah, so you can imagine how I'm feeling now. I'm so excited. Yeah. When I looked at the looks, I mean, and compared even with the other unit buses, they were almost, I mean, similar. Yeah, and the comfort, my, I really enjoy it. Actually, before I thought it can, when it starts, it can just move and hit anybody on the, um, on the road, but we can see the driver was in very good control. So, yeah, that's a big up to him. Yeah, it's very good. Yeah, thanks. It's interesting. I never heard about the bus before, but I heard about the car that this company is making. I saw it online somewhere. And um, I had the bus the first time on Monday. When I came here, I was doing a, some you know, uh, presentation here. And I just saw a bus. I thought, oh, wow, nice bus. Then someone said, no, no, it's a solar bus. I was like, oh, really? So, But my first impression, I'm an architect, so it's like it's really looking good. So... Um, now about the ride, interesting. I like the sound. It sounds, you know, really like um, an urban thing. Okay, it's not noisy. You know the the noise and the the the, the, the roar of petrol fuel. This really sounds very humble, and um, it's interesting. Okay, I, I it's comfortable and all that. I'm not sure about the, what that noise meant when you were climbing up the hill and it sounded like it was training. I don't know that that's an intention. It's a, that's how the motor is working or something. Yeah, but it was a good ride. I enjoyed it. Yes. Yes. I wish it went faster. Oh, definitely. I also wish it went Yeah, like we were going at 100 kilometers per hour. Then I could really say it's an interesting ride. But it was a good ride. How, how, how does the, ex, the Expo experience, what does that mean to Kira Motors Corporation? Does it add something else to what you already know? Yeah, being here it means a, a couple of things to us. One of the things it means is that uh, our work 
is relevant to not only Uganda but the rest of the world, especially at such a time where green mobility solutions are more important for mass mobility in urban centers of the world. Secondly, it also provides us an opportunity to plug into an international community of possible collaborators along so many, along so many fronts. We have already started greeting people. We have already started sharing ideas in, in, in terms of how can we work together on so many different fronts. And that is why one of the reasons we decided to come here to see who are the other people who share the same vision. How are they doing what they are doing? How can we synergize to make this even quicker and less burdensome?